these people are. I, I can't stand that, man. It drives me nuts. So, yeah. and I'm and the great part about I always joke around and say the best part about being me is I'm part white, I'm part black, I'm part Filipino. My kids are part Mexican, and I have a learning disability. I'll talk about whatever the fuck I want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't call me racist. You can't call me any of that. You can't All call me anything. Stuff, yes, yeah. I got my past. So, but uh, no, man. I I, I wish we we've lost open dialogue. Uh, the left, you talked about it earlier. Uh, all they got to do is pick one word. All they got to do is call you racist or sexist or something. And they go to that when they're, I'm not going to say left. I'm just going to go when I've been in debates with people, that's their go-to when they're losing. Oh, well, you're just a racist. I'm like, all right, that means yeah. you lost. That, as soon as I hear that, I know that means you don't have shit else to say, you know, yeah. or you're sexist. Like, all right. So anyways, but I agree with you on that, but it, it's a, uh, it's getting wild out here. For sure. For sure. And it, you, yeah, the people that, that talk about, like, you can't really understand the experience. Like, if, first off, like, when it's a white person telling you that, like, you can't understand the experience. Like, I've had this, I've had this happen, you know. You can't really understand the experience of black people. I'm like, neither can you. So how do we, how do we talk about this exactly? Like, if you believe that, then why right. are you talking? Like, then it's literally like, then we just got to get two black people in here and have them talk. And it's like, uh, I was debating a woman and I brought this up, like all of my views on all of my beliefs and everything, like there's women that agree with me so I can bring them in and have them tell you exactly what I just said. So you'll be like, okay, now I will listen because they have a vagina. <laughs> but right. it's like, I was, it's the arguments, it's the ideas, it's the things that are right and wrong. And it's like, like, uh, with the, with the police brutality thing no one believes except for a super minority class of people that we shouldn't even have to mention them that cops should be allowed to abuse citizens no one right, believes right. that no one right. thinks that's okay everyone thinks they should be held accountable then it's just a question of how right and we're not arguing anymore there's no black lives matter there's no all lives matter there's no bullshit we're just like cops shouldn't be allowed to abuse citizens we don't have the strictest of laws about how to deal with this. Let's work on it. Start the dialogue. Boom. Done. But it's, there's, but it's better to keep, it's easier to keep control over people if they're always fighting with each other and if they think the other side is genuinely bad people. Because it's like, well, you in power might be bad, but you're not as bad as they are. And so they can well, scare you yeah. into giving up your, your control. Well, and they, they're using, they're using fear and, they're also, to me, they, they use shit that is just as accurate, you know? And what I mean by that is, man, there's 375 million calls a year cops go to on average, okay? So in one year, they showed nine shootings that happened. And of those shootings, maybe, maybe two of them were unjustified. You string those two fucking cops up. Fuck them. They're not my brothers. They're not part of our law enforcement. Get rid of them, okay? But... The other six or seven, just because they got shot does not mean they weren't supposed to be or didn't deserve it, however you want to look at it, you know? And yeah. so I have such a hard time with this systematic uh, racism argument. Where I do agree with them, though, and because I was in law enforcement, and this happens at every job, especially if you got unions and stuff, there is a blue wall of silence, though, you know? I've seen it exist, and now that shit needs to be broken down to a point but now you're also talking about weird things where I'm talking at a very uh, uh, specific level. Now you're talking brotherhood stuff, okay? Now, I'm not saying that they should be allowed to beat everyone to death, this and that, but we all know unions, uh, the Masons, you name it, whatever, uh, football teams, wrestling teams, power. You guys have a code of conduct. You guys are brothers. We don't cross each other. There's all of that shit, you know? Mm -hmm. So when I say that it exists, well, that's a human nature thing. It just happens to be in that job, the blue line. Am I making sense? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm absolutely okay saying that needs to be broken down. That needs to be more apparent. You need to back your the good play, not the bad play. But with all of that said, cops aren't out here hunting down black people and shooting them. I hate that narrative, especially if there's a cop who shot someone in Massachusetts. What does that have to do with the cop in, in, in Oakland? Yeah, You know, if a, a Mexican kid steals a bike in Stockton, that doesn't have shit to do with the Mexican kid in New Haven, Connecticut. So mm -hmm. let's stop assuming 
Yeah. You know, they assume like we talk to each other all across the nation about <laughs> doing a Skype today. It's like, that's ridiculous, man. But we sell that and then we got a scared. Now we got a section of our community that is super scared, you know? And mm -hmm. I've heard plenty of African Americans say, talk many times about how they've been wronged by cops. And I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I'm not. But I've also said, we're at the point now that everything is so called out. If you're on the right, it'll show. You know, just be right. You know, like, I watch so many people be so disrespectful to cops, like they're looking for them to fuck up or they want to make them fuck up. And I'm like, you know, you're going to get respect by giving it. And I know it's their job, but you're a community member, man. They're doing their job. I, if they stop you and you don't feel like you should have been stopped, well, you can argue that later on. But you being an asshole and calling them racist and filming them and throwing shit at them, I'm like, do you really think that's making it better? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't like the fact that it's almost like the community has no, um, like they have no accountability for this either, you know? I mean, the shit works both ways, you know? And yes, we pay them, so they have a gun. If they make that mistake, they should own it. But again, I, I think we should be getting the more community involved with our cops, not separating them. Yeah, people don't understand that, like, when you look at group statistics like crime statistics, crime statistics in the black community or how many issues there are with, with cops or whatever, if a certain community is committing more crimes than other communities, like we'll say like uh, the Cambodian community versus the African-American community here in Stockton, there's definitely a difference in the amount of criminality in those, those two communities. There's no question. And the numbers back that up. Cops are then going to have more interactions with a different group, and so they're going to have more numbers with that different group. And what some studies have shown is that actually uh, cops are more hesitant because of the racist narratives and because they know they'll be filmed in, in the modern day. That they're actually, when you consider all of those factors and the amount of times they, they actually interact with people and they try to correct for behavior, that they're actually more hesitant. Um, yeah. And uh, which, is, which was surprising when I heard that, when I heard that. But... Um, yeah, the cops, you know, they're they're doing a really good job and like they they my I'm a big believer in um there's not bad law enforcement, there's just bad laws, which means like they're just humans, so human nature's at play and either we're going to set it up to where they're going to be good cops and they'll be successful and they'll stay on the force or you know, we have unions in in charge of everything and it's just about sucking the public uh subbing the pu the public dollar, the public budget for as much as you can to pay the union dues to fund the, the union, you know, leaders vacations. You yeah. Know? So I, you know, the, I, I will say overall, especially in the last 10 or 15 years, like I do think Stockton PD has done a really good job. I think they've gotten a lot better. I think they're becoming more pro social in the community. And a lot of times just being able to say, Hey, what's up when you're driving by, you know, not mad dogging and staring everyone down, but that was a culture that I think was created here. You know, yeah. I think we're trying to do a good job of, of separating that. Um, you know, you're always going to have, it's unfortunate. You're going to always have one or two bad seeds or a couple, or you're going to hear about an incident here or there. And it's like, yes, but I, I would love to say that, but if 98% of them are doing the right thing or 95%, it's still progress, man. And can we take that? We'll denounce the bad stuff, but, I don't need to harp on it all the time and be told that, you know, this uh, police department is racist because of, uh, of this incident, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know. I, I, it would be nice to see, um, it, it'd, see it'd be nice to see the community and, and PD. It, they're getting there. I, I think it's happening. So hopefully it'll continue to happen. Yeah. That's, that's good. That's good to hear. Definitely in cities where you have legit violent crime in decent numbers, like I think there's a different level of respect for cops and there's also a different seriousness with cops. They're not going to bug everyday people for everyday little things because they, they have real shit they're worried about. You're just, you're not, you're not going to nitpick grandma for jaywalking, you know, if right. you have, you know, a, a response to a gang, sh you know, to a shootout or something, you know, that you're going to a bank robbery. Right. or something so yeah well um yeah that's that's all i got for today uh you have anything else you'd like to say or ask or no i just uh 
I enjoyed my time. Uh, I appreciate you asking me to do this. Uh, hopefully it's what you wanted. I, I know I kind of uh, ventured off. You here exceeded there, but... expectations, sir. <laughs> well, you didn't expect much then, huh? But uh, no, I, <laughs> I, I had a really good time. I appreciate you having me on. And so uh, uh, you've now turned me on to a fan. I'll make sure I watch your uh, future shows. And uh, again, brothers, if you want to have let me know. All right. All right, I will, for sure. I appreciate All right. it. All right. All right. Have a good one. Take care, bud. Bye-bye.